Greeting everyone, my name is Tony Hollowitz and I want to thank you for being here for this tutorial working with layouts in ACT Premium Cloud or a web browser based ACT. So I want to talk to you a little bit about some of the things I think about when I first start thinking about editing or modifying a layout. So if I'm going to edit a layout, as I'm looking at the layout, one of the first things I want to determine is this. I'm going to come over to the three dots over here on the right, just to the word to the right of the word save. And I'm going to click on these dots to change the layout. The layout I'm currently in is called the basic contact layout 1366 by 768. And the way I know that is that it's highlighted. So I want to observe the name of that. And I also want to observe the dimensions. So again, it's the basic contact layout. And I think it's a good idea to take a screenshot of what we're seeing so that we know exactly what it is. It's, it's a good idea just for a record keeping point of view, but make a note of what that's called. Now that I know what it's called, I'm going to come up to tools. I'm going to come down to design layouts. And because this is a contact layout, I'm going to click on contact. It will open up the layout designer. And as I maximize this to get it to take up the whole screen, I want you to observe a few things. First, I can't really scroll over to the right very far. I can scroll up and down as I desire. And if I add things that are further down the screen, I'll be able to scroll down further. If I add something over to the right, and I'll show you in another tutorial how to do that, I can get all the way over to the right. So if I'm about to edit this layout, the very first thing I do once I come into it is I go up to File and I go Save As. And when I do that, I'm just going to give it a name. And typically what I'll do is I'll come in and I just name it something very simple like Tony-A. And I'm going to click OK. Now I've changed this layout to Tony-A. Now what I do just for safety's sake is I will close this layout. And once I've closed the layout, I'm going to go back to the three dots. I'm going to navigate, and I'm going to click on Tony A. And that way, when I go inside this, I know I'm navigating or working on the Tony A. So I'm going to go back up to Tools, Design Layouts, Contact. And now I'm going to be modifying the Tony A layout. I'm going to maximize the screen. And that is the very first step of what you should do. You should observe the name of the current layout, the size. You should then go back in, save that layout with a new name so you can go in and modify it, and then move forward with changes you're going to make. In the next tutorial, I'm going to talk to you about some things that you should observe and think about before you start modifying the layout, some things that I want you to make note of, and I'll show you that in the next tutorial. Thank you, everyone, for being here. My name is Tony Holowitz. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out. Thank you.